on today's episode, beef, bacon, and wine for beef bourguignon, super easy, slow cooker edition. This is dedicated to my friend Rebecca, hi in the great state of Georgia. We were on Food Network Star together and she dressed up for Halloween as Julia Childs a couple years ago. And I saw it on Facebook and her happiness inspired me to make this meal. But we need to make it easy. Beef bourguignon is super complicated. So we're gonna do it all in the slow cooker. Okay, break my rule of not cook anything first because we wanna brown the beef so that it sears and it keeps all those juices in while it cooks. So I've got stew meat, three pounds, and I put it in the 400 degree oven. Five slices of thick bacon, because bacon makes everything better. And stew meat um, comes from the part of the cow that exercises a lot, so it's a lot tougher. So you want to slowly cook it, and then it becomes buttery and creamy. All right, in here's my veggies. I've got onion, one onion chopped up, a bag of small carrots, one box of white mushrooms that I chopped up, and I got three parsnips. They look like carrots, but they're white, and then they have this sort of nutty sweet flavor. It's like a really nice hearty spud, almost like a potato, but a little nuttier. Okay, tons of salt. I'm gonna put at least a good two teaspoons of salt in here. And then pepper, it's best friends forever, about a teaspoon of pepper in there. Fresh ground pepper's better because the oils are still in there. When you get the pre-grated kinds, the oils come out of it and it's not as peppery and yummy. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. It will thicken it up and give a little bit of sweetness to it. Okay, a bay leaf and then a whole bunch of thyme right in there as well too. Mix this up first. A cup of chicken stock. A cup and a half of red wine. Ah, oh, drink up all that beautiful wine. All right, let's get out our beef and our bacon because 15 minutes has happened. Three, two, one. Yay, happy beef year. Okay, let's take it all out. Oh, I'm getting a beef facial. Okay, ah, oh, look at this beautiful sear on the beef and we didn't mess up the kitchen. And come here, bacon, my bacon friends, the thick cut, salty, smoky bacon. Okay, I'm gonna take these chunks of beef and just so you can see they're beautifully browned all the way through and throw them right into the slow cooker. And then I chopped up the smoky, salty bacon and that goes in. Basically, this is just bacon, red wine, and beef, how amazing is that? So we're gonna mix this all together so we can get the beef in there and the wine all around it. Okay, and one thing that I did that I forgot to tell you is always remember to tie your thyme and your herbs and I put it on the top so this way you can fish it out. So as I was mixing, I realized and I changed that. So don't forget to do that. And I'm gonna cover this and then what I am gonna do is put this in the refrigerator and when I go to go to work tomorrow, I'm gonna put this on low for eight hours okay well i will see you when i get back from work tomorrow and we are gonna eat beef bourguignon oh i just got home from work and look at that it smells so sweet and beefy in here bonjour time leaves welcome welcome we're gonna take you out and then we're gonna sprinkle it with magic grassy fresh herbs right on the top Ah, oh, Tom is gonna be so excited when he comes home from work. Okay, let's get some beautiful beef. Go to chophappy.com for the recipe and cheers. Grab a bowl of beefy stew by the handful because life is short and you guys are awesome. Mm, oh my God, so buttery and it falls off. Beefy and that wine is brightening. Mm -mm -mm. Yay. Okay, Tom's coming home soon, so I better eat this bowl first.